Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while since I did my last guides or my last tutorials about how to jump with Rengar, how to put the correct words, or how to even like uh, flash and, and use an ability. So today I'm gonna explain to you one of the things that a lot of you guys been wondering and been asking for, uh, to me on Facebook and Twitter and even over YouTube or streaming and is how to set the hotkeys and how to set the key bindings uh, like a pro. How the pro players use the key bindings or how they set the, the keyboard uh, hotkeys. On the first video of today, uh, we're gonna explain uh, all about the hotkeys, how to use smart cast, how to use normal cast, how to auto attack and all this kind of stuff. So I hope you're ready guys and enjoy. So the first thing we're gonna explain is what is normal cast and what is uh, smart cast. That Pretty much, I will believe 80% or 90% of the players has smart cast, but some of them just have like one or two abilities on normal cast, and I'm gonna explain you why. So as you can see, I'm playing Morgana, because uh, I will explain why I'm playing Morgana. The first thing is normal cast. This quick cast and normal cast. Quick cast is the smart cast, as uh, we talk. The normal cast uh, means this. When you use your ability, for example, the Q, you can see the range of the Q like this, okay? You see the max range of your Q and you can always throw the Q max range to try to hit something. The only bad thing of this is that you have to click two times to use an ability. For example, if I want to use my W, I have the range here and then I have to click again. So I have to click twice to use an ability. Same for the Q, you use the Q and then you say like, okay, I'm gonna drop it here. And that's the max range you can hit with the Q. The quick cast is completely different. Quick cast is for experienced players that <clears throat> already know the range of the ability or are pretty sure what is the range. So as you can see right now, I have a quick cast on my on all my abilities and the Q, I only need to hit it once. I hit Q and it instantly drops the Q. Same for a W, I, I put on the mouse and I hit the W. What is, what is uh, the, the strange part of this uh, quick cast? Uh, sometimes if you wanna hit like a spell, for example, if I'm here, and the range of the W, as you can see right now, if I click on the ability, you see the range exactly. But if I want to use a W on the brush, I will hit W and he will move to there. So sometimes on champions like like Asir, sometimes like Argon and stuff like that, you try to use your spell, but you have no range, so you have to move uh, till that point and it's a bit annoying. Uh, still, experienced players pretty much play with all the smart cast things. The only couple of uh, abilities that you usually don't smart cast are uh, heroes like Blitzcrank, the Q of Blitzcrank is pretty good to know them exactly max range and exactly where you can hit. Or also spells like the Thresh E, so you know exactly where the Thresh is gonna pull the enemies. Same for Anivia Wall. If you wanna hit perfectly an Anivia Wall, sometimes you don't have to uh, smart cast it, so you know exactly where the wall is gonna be and even the, the direction of the wall. That's pretty much what normal cast and quick cast means. You can even just put it like every time I go to a PC and I try to play on a different PC, I just put restore default and instantly quick cast all because this is exactly the, the, the key bindings I play with. I also, I also put the trinket on the four, as you can see, because it's probably like the, the safest and the, the normal uh, place to put it. Uh, some players put it on the five, some players put it on the one, the trinket, but I usually put it on the, uh, on the four because I think it's, it's, it's good for me. The second thing I'm gonna explain is about the abilities. There's a couple of things here that uh, a lot of people doesn't know how, how this works. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain you how this works. Uh, players also do the Swift uh, Q for normal cast. Sometimes I put here the Swift one or the, uh, for, ex for example, if I put here the Swift one, as you can see, I have everything on smart cast. So if I click Q, it instantly drops the Q. But if I have, uh, I think it's like this. So if I wanna if I wanna know the range exactly, I click Swift and W, and I know exactly the range, as you can see. So in terms of like, for example, for for wards, I usually put the wards on the Swift one, Swift two, Swift three, Swift four. So sometimes when you have to put like a tricky ward, like not here, but for example from Drake to here, it's better to have it on Swift, so you know exactly when the ward can be placed on that brush, because it's actually on the on the green thingy. Uh, another thing is the self-cast that a lot of people be asking me uh, how to use the self-cast. So the self-cast, I always have it on alt, uh, on the alt button, so that's why I pick uh, Morgana, because Morgana has silk. You can put the silk to anyone, like click E to anyone. If I go to this place, for example, I'm going to be here, and I will show you how to do it. I go top, and if I want to put a silk to someone, I just click the E on him. And that's play, it's pretty simple. But if I want to self-cast the, the E on me, I just have to click 
Alt and E. And it's like super fast and it's a super good way to seal yourself uh, uh, without like with a high reaction time. I'm gonna show you right now. For example, like if someone is trying to drop me a ability or something, uh, instantly. I'm, I'm here, someone tried to grab me and instantly, Alt E. And it's instant on you. You don't have to click on yourself. So it's the fastest way to shield yourself, to heal yourself, or to use a spell on you uh, without reaction. Um, uh, the same for the level up. If you want to level up one of your abilities, you have to click Control and Ability. I've been doing that a lot, and almost all papayas do that, because sometimes when you reach, for example, the power spike of the level 2, uh, you have to all in the enemy, and the fastest way is Control and Ability, super fast and instant uh, going. Same for the power spike on level 6. There is a lot of champions at level 6, you can kill them. And the moment you get level 6, you level up with the control R or control Q, whatever spell you want to level up, and then you instant go in. That's the faster way to level up. Uh, then the same for items. I already told you about the items. I have everything on as markers, as I put at the start, but uh, here I misclick. Uh, if I want to put like a deep trinket, for example, the item, uh, the trinket is 3 4. I always have it on 3 4, the item. That means. If I want to put the trinket, I just have to click on 4. But if you click Shift 4, you know exactly the range. And if you are on a brush, if you see right now, right now the, the square is green, that means it's going to be placed on the, on the brush. In other places, it's like red, you're not going to put it here. So with this, you know exactly the range of the trinket, and you can put it as deeper as you want, as I'm going to show you right now. This is actually a pretty easy word, but if you put it from here to here, it's actually a good way uh, to use the, the normal cast on the trinket. Same from here. This only work with the trinket and with the mastery of the trinket up. Uh, but there is a couple of words that is like long range that is actually better to, to have it on normal cast. A couple of things more to explain on this video. <coughs> Apart from the items, I'm going to explain you about of the, uh, a little bit about the player movement. As you can see, this is completely default uh, um, aesthetics uh, or, or default hotkeys of uh, League of Legends. So this is the movement, as you can see, you move with this, this is pretty obvious, pretty optimal. About the attack, move, click. This is something that a lot of people doesn't know, but a lot of pro players use it. What it means? This means this is probably the best way to hit and run in League of Legends. How does it work? I'm going to explain to you. The right click and move with the shift, it means it, it, it mean this, if you are moving, you shift and right click, instantly it's going to attack. The next, the target you're closer to. So that means AD carries can just like run, right click, 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 run, right click. That's the best way to hit and run you can do in League of Legends nowadays. A lot of AD carries does that. I know, uh, I believe Reckless does it and a lot of like other AD carries does it because it's the best way to, to, to kite the enemy and to use hit the closest target. So you are actually not misstepping uh, forward to uh, let the enemy target you. So it's a pretty good way to use like run and instantly hit the closest target you can have. Okay, then with the A on or the X right now, you can see exactly the range of your auto attack. In example, if I if I want to auto attack a minion and I know exactly my range, because if someone is 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 like invading me or someone wanna kill me, if I click on A, I know exactly what what is the max range of my auto attack. So I can actually click on the minion. For some range champions like Cristiano and stuff, is actually a good way to know what is your max range. Then the hold position and the stop position are two different things. Hold position means if you click on H, you're gonna hold position and you're gonna attack the minion. Uh, this is good, but pretty much no one uses it. But the S is pretty good, and, and especially junglers, we use it. Because if you wanna do, for example, a blue buff to someone, and you're doing the blue buff, the best way to use, like, do the blue buff and stop, don't out attack or anything, is clicking the S. You click the S, you don't attack anymore. And then your mid lane, your top lane, or whoever can get the blue buff without you still in that buff. Uh, next thing, the move pet click. This only works for uh, Shaco, Mordekaiser, Annie, and a couple of more uh, champions that have like a pet. That you only like has to do alt and move it. If you click on alt, then you move and it's the, your pet moving. In this scenario, I can explain to you. I will try to explain you in the next video how is that thing. And then uh, the last thing I'm gonna explain is about the camera control. So I put bots to show you this. A good way to know how is your lens going is by clicking on F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. Usually, 
I don't put myself on F1 because I already have uh, my uh, the space for the F1. But then I put like F1, F2, F3, and F4. So you have the first uh, four Fs to know your allies. What that means? If I click F1, I instantly look on Rice. If I click F2, I instantly look on Amumu. F3, I instantly look on Blitzcrank. F4, I instantly look on Trundle. If I want to look on myself, I just click a space. So every time, like, if your mouse moves a lot and, or you don't know where you are, you click on a space and you will know. And if you want to know how is your lane, uh, your, your teammate going, you can just click on Fs to know exactly where they are and how they are. Uh, another thing uh, that is going to be the last thing of this video is about how to move the map. This scroll up, scroll down, scroll left, scroll right. Pretty much, I think not a single Popeye has used this, except of uh, Expeke, Soas, and Cyanide. I think they are the only three players that actually move the minimap or move the map with these scrolls. I've never seen a single player using that, except of those guys. They actually use it a lot. If you're moving on the map, they keep doing this to have more precision about where is the map and how to move on it. As you can see, it's, it's really like you can even do it with this or you can do it with this. But actually, some pro players prefer to do it with the with the arrows so you can move like with more precision on them. So guys, that was everything from my first hotkeys or key bindings uh, video or how to set the keyboard as a pro player. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and even follow me on Twitch that I'm actually uh, streaming a lot there. And as I always say on every single video, every single streaming and everywhere, uh, don't forget guys to keep smiling. Thanks for watching.